Hey, this is Bryce, and thanks for tuning into my YouTube channel, Jack of Trades. Uh, in today's video, I want to do a quick little weekend review, just to kind of go over what I've been working on, um, mainly with the Baja. Uh, we got some packages in the mail. Uh, Tis the season for packages, and what better time of the year to disguise your RC purchases for Christmas purchases? Uh, it gets they get mixed up in the noise, and you get in less trouble with your significant other. <laughs> so. I'll open up a couple of packages that I got. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, last last week and a half or so, I spent I was going through all of my old Baja parts. I have I had bins and bins and bins of parts, um, and actually I had enough. I found enough parts to build another Baja, so I started kitting that out. But I found this cool cover that I had forgotten about. Um, I used to have a shop. My shop used to be in the same warehouse as Custom Street Toys. And they were an upholstery shop, but they were also doing uh, aftermarket Baja parts, um, as well as a lot. They did a lot of custom builds for people. Um, they would kind of get commissioned to do custom builds, and they had a lot of cars that um, were on display at RCX, the RC Expo in Pomona. Um, <clears throat> but at one point, he had made me some covers, and I still have this cover uh, for my Baja, um, which is it's a nice cover to keep the dust off. It's got my old company logo on it, Baja Skunk Works. Um, but I just thought I'd show that off and then I'd like to show off some of the stuff we've been doing on the uh, the Baja build so I finally got around to painting the lower side pods and they came out pretty nice I think I think the lines match up really well um, and then I went ahead and did some little customization to the roof plate um, so I did a custom decal and I did the cutout similar to what we see on the uh, Kyosho Ultima there um, again, we're doing you know a tribute to this car here to the right So yeah, we're making good progress. Um, I'm still waiting on my wing. I received a wing, but it was supposed to be white It was kind of cream colored So Ooh. I went and ordered another one hoping it'll be white um, So we're waiting on that to come in In the meantime, I also figured out what I, my strategy for these um, connectors and my batteries Originally, I was going to run these Gen Aces. I have these. These are 7,500 milliamp hour uh, 4S's, and I have these for my uh, Traxxas X Max 8S. But they're actually too big for this car. They're too wide. Um, so I shopped around and I found a solution which uses two shorty packs, um, uh, longitudinally mounted, and they'll fit in this case. So that's the route I'm going to have to go. Um, to get, I don't. I don't know what other people are using. If you have um, any comments as to what you're using in your Baja Flux, let me know. I, I did a Google search and I didn't find anything. Um, so that's the route I went. Is two shorties kind of in line with each other, and then I figured out the connectorization as well. Um, uh, it'll be fairly simple. Basically, I'm going to just put bullet connectors instead of using a, a pigtail. So I'll bring the positive minus minus positive in, and then a jumper across here. Um, and that'll be the most efficient and simplest solution to um, getting power to the Baja. What's next? Oh, all right, so let's get into the unboxing. Um, I want this video to be relatively short. It's actually my first day of holiday break, um, so I've got lots of time now. Well, <laughs> not not pending, uh, you know, family obligations. I have. Time uh, to goof around in the shop. All right, this I think I know what it is. If you can play the guessing game, I think this is a, a radio, a vintage radio. Yep. <laughs> so this is for that um, the kangaroo project. There was, uh, it came with a stick radio, but I wanted to switch. I wanted to do a um, pistol grip. Uh, so this is an Aristocraft high-tech uh, pistol grip radio. And actually I think it's just the radio. No receiver. So I need to see if it's going to work. Yeah, it's just the radio. It wasn't that expensive. I think it was like 20 bucks. Maybe that is expensive. I don't know. Um, okay, it's got the little battery tray in there. Um, and hopefully it works with that uh, car. I, I, I would think it would. It's AM channel 80. I think the other one's actually channel 80 as well. Uh, but it's your, the crystal set. 
So that should just be a direct power up and, and transmit type setup. So that's kind of cool that it comes with the original box. Um, and it's actually in pretty good condition. So that'll go well with that project. This, I don't know. I suppose some of the stuff could be actual Christmas stuff. These are bearings. Bearings, bearings, bearings. Um, these are bearings for a... Uh, I don't know actually. Oh, this is for my Hirobo Alien Mid uh, project. So these are just the wheel bearings, I believe. Um, I have a good collection of Tamiya bearings, but when I get into the other cars, I need to buy bearings. Um, so that, I think it's for the Hirobo Alien Mid project. Okay. These are some parts for a Thunder Tiger Panda Stalker car that I picked up recently. Um, these are front arms and the C hubs and spindles. Th these are crazy inexpensive on eBay. I, don't, I, I just don't think people are looking for parts for this car. Um, so I just picked those up as spares. This, I also, another car that I recently picked up is a Mugen Bulldog. Um, so this is a lower chassis plate uh, by Factory Works. So they do kind of these re-release um, or reproduction of vintage parts by a and l um, And this is that lower chassis plate on the uh, Mugen Bulldog. Which, none of this probably means anything because I haven't introduced these cars on my channel yet. Um, but I am hunting for parts, so. As the parts come in, they go into the project kit. And at some point, that project kit gets built. Oh, so this is from MCI. Uh, these are my decals that I ordered. So these are for some of the builds that I have going on. Um, I've got an astute sticker set. I don't know why. I, or I may have an astute. Oh, that's right. Sorry. <laughs> of course. I have an astute um, retro mod project um, that I've been. I'm ready to do, and the stickers were the last thing that I was waiting for. Oh, I got lots of stickers. So we got some window masks for various bodies. Um, Jarex Pro stickers. So lately I've been on this Team Losi kick, um, trying to collect the the whole library of Losi cars up to the. Triple uh, X, so Triple X four. Um, I have the Triple X four buggy. I think I have the Triple X four sedan all the way back to the original JRX two. Um, I've basically collected that whole library of vehicles in my collection. Um, I was I was a big Losi fan. I, my second RC car was a Team Losi Junior T, um, and that was my first. I guess kind of competition grade um, RC car. So I grew up running the snot out of that truck, um, playing around with different motor setups, speed controllers, etc. It, it was a really fun truck. I lost it. I, I, it actually ended up getting stolen from me um, when I was in college. Um, so I no longer have it, unfortunately. But um, I have since located a, um, a new inbox kit. Uh, so I can kind of relive that, that experience of building a Junior T again. Um, I, don't, I mean, the so here's a little thing about Losi vehicles. Um, they are incredibly hard to find. Um, new inbox kits don't, just don't show up at all. If they do, they're, they're insanely expensive. Um, and they're, I think in general, the Losi cars seem to be a lot harder to get both parts and cars in decent condition than for example, the RC10 uh, gold pans. Those are a dime a dozen on eBay, but the Losi stuff is, is a lot harder and it pops up a lot more infrequently. So it, it's been a challenge uh, <laughs> uh, finding those Losi cars. But I, I'm basically at the end of that hunt for that collection. A lot of them need to be kind of rebuilt, cleaned up. So 
there's, there's a lot of work involved in that and I'll, I'll feature that stuff on the channel as I, as I progress. So we got some Jarek's Pro stickers. Sorry, I, I went off on a tangent. N set of Ninja stickers for a Marui Ninja project. Um, I believe this is for the FX10, uh, FX10 sticker set. No, I'm sorry. This is the FX10 sticker set. Um, for that, I have an FX10 project. And we've got Junior 2 stickers. Um, junior T stickers, because I, in addition to that new inbox Junior T, I have a um, a couple of Junior T's to restore. Um, what else do we have? Shogun, some Rui Shogun. I have one of those that I'd like to do a new body for. The car itself is in pretty good condition. Um, I also have a laser uh, Kyosho Laser Alpha um, project car that I'm going to do a new body on as well as rebuild the car so there's a stickers for that and a st striker sticker set um, I've got a couple of striker projects um, most of them have new bodies but on the one that doesn't um, that's what this is for okay so these are uh, JRX2 uh, box art stickers um, you can go the sticker out versus uh, painting it and then these are junior two box art stickers um, where you can go the decal route versus um, uh, painting. Um, but I might do painting, I don't know, we'll see. Um, having done this body with paint, it's a lot of work, but the results are pretty nice <laughs> versus dealing with stickers, which I mean, you can always tell a sticker is a sticker, but I'm not trying to be elitist about it. I understand a lot of work went into this and I'm sure at some point I'll get burned out on all the masking involved and painting. And, um, it becomes very time consuming and all you want to do is get that body done and, and run it. <laughs> so that, I don't know, yeah. So that is all that I have for unboxing. Um, just a couple of bits and some stickers. The stickers are nice, I ordered these during their Black Friday hit sale. Um, and so they just showed up now, maybe two, or three weeks since that sale. Um, yeah, a little, yeah, three weeks, three and a half weeks. Um, all right, um, that's all I got for today. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a good one. Bye.